I'm Bella and welcome to the Dreamy Storytellers. Have you ever heard of a vegetarian T-Rex? This little dinosaur is in the wrong nest. He may look small and weedy, but don't be fooled by his size. Tyrannosaurus Drip is brave and very clever. So roll along with me as I read to you Tyrannosaurus Drip by Julia Donaldson and David Roberts. In a swamp beside a river where the land was thick with veg lived a herd of duck-billed dinosaurs who roamed the water's edge. And they hooted up with rivers and they hooted up with reeds and they hooted up with bellyfuls of juicy water weeds. Now across the rushy river on a hill the other side lived a mean Tyrannosaurus with his grim and grisly bride. And they shouted. Up with hunting, they shouted. Up with war, and they shouted. Up with bellyfuls of dark billed dinosaur. But the two Tyrannosauruses, so grisly, mean and grim, couldn't catch the duck billed dinosaurs because they couldn't swim. And they muttered down with water, and they muttered down with wet, and they muttered, what a shame that bridges aren't invented yet. Now we little Compsognathus, but for short we'll call her Comp, found a duckbill egg and stole it from the nest beside the swamp. And she swam with it, and she ran with it, and murmured, clever me. And won't the baby comps be thrilled with a duck bill egg for? Uh oh, tea! She dropped the egg in terror and went running for her life. From the mean Tyrannosaurus and his grim and grisly wife. And the duckbill egg went rolling and at last came to rest in, for all of the unlikely places, the Tyrannosaurus nest. Now the mother tea had great big jaws. And great enormous legs. But her brain was rather little. So she couldn't count her eggs. And she sang. Hatch out my little daughters with your scaly little tails and your spiky little toothies and your scary little nails. Out hatch babies one and two as perfect as could be. But Mother T was horrified by baby number three. And she grumbled. He looks weedy. And she grumbled. He looks weaker. And she grumbled. What long arms. And look, his mouth is like a beak. He just needs feeding up, said Dad and gave the baby some meat. The first two gulped and guzzled, but the third refused to eat. He said, I'm really sorry. And he said, I simply can't. And he said, this meat looks horrible. 
I'd rather eat a plant. A plant! yelled Mum in horror. And Dad said, Get a grip! His sisters found a name for him Tyrannosaurus Dreep! And they shouted, Up with hunting! And they shouted, Up with war! And they shouted, Up with bellyfuls of dark filled dinosaur! Poor Tyrannosaurus Drip tried hard to sing along, but the others yelled, You silly Drip, you've got the words all wrong! For he hooted, Down with hunting! And he hooted, Down with war! And he hooted, Down with bellyfuls! Of dark blue dinosaur. Drip sisters soon grew big enough to hunt with dad and mum. But they turned on Drip and told him, You're not fierce enough to come. And he cried, They've gone without me. And he cried, a lack a day and he cried this doesn't feel like home I'm going to run away so he ran off to the river where he saw a lovely sight a herd of duck-billed dinosaurs all hooting with delight and they hooted up with rivers and they hooted up with reeds and they hooted up with bellyfuls of juicy water weeds. As he stood there on the bank, a sudden urge took hold of him. He jumped into the water and discovered that he could swim. And the duckbills came to greet him by the rushy river's edge, and they hooted, Nice to see you! And they hooted, have some veg. And Drip, who was delighted that they hadn't run away, ate bellyfuls of water weeds and played with them all day. Then he gazed into the river and he asked them, who, oh who is that creature in the water? And they laughed and said, it's you. At night the lightning crackled and the storm blew down a tree and it fell across the river and the tears cried out, yippee. And they shouted, up with hunting. And they shouted, up with war! And they shouted, up with bellyfuls of dark blue dinosaur! Drip sisters stepped onto the bridge, but then began to frown. As there in front of them stood Drip, who yelled, look out, look down! And they looked into the water, and they each let out a yelp! And one cried, water monsters! And the other cried out, help! And their mother scolded, nonsense! And she joined them on the tree. And she looked into the water and exclaimed, good gracious me! All three of them stood trembling. And Dad said, get a grip! All of you are as drippy as Tyrannosaurus Drip. He strolled onto the bridge and scoffed. I bet there's nothing there. And he looked into the water and jumped into the air. And how the duckbills hooted when he landed with a crash. And then 
the tree bridge broke, and the four tyrannosauruses went splash and spluttering and clinging onto the branches of the tree. They went whooshing down the waterfall and all the way into the sea. And the duck bills hooted happily. They hooted, hip hip hip, hooray for the heroic, and only one and only duck bill drip. Bye bye.